Hello everyone, this is Brian Garvin, and today I'm going to talk about one of my top cryptos that I own. It, it's, it's, a, it's called Chainlink, and the uh, ticker is uh, L-I-N-K, and you can find it on it pretty much any exchange. Um, it's, it's a product of a blockchain technology startup called Smart Contract, which was founded in 2014. Chainlink itself um, started with a white paper published by Steve Ellis, Art Jewell, and Sergey Navarov in September of 2017. Their mantra is connecting the world to blockchains. It is known as the Oracle of DeFi. Uh, Chainlink has the most epic bear market in 2018 and 29 with a mass exodus. A lot of people left in those two years. Um, this is one of my top coins for the 2024 bull run. It's probably one of my top four coins. Um, I'm going to go over several reasons why this is and why you should, you might want to look into it a little bit more. Um, they also have one of the most dedicated teams led by legendary C CEO Sergey Navarov, as I mentioned earlier. He's been around since the Satoshi area, since the Satoshi era, sorry, and is here for the right reasons. Um, First, I'm gonna talk about the team and community, and then I'm gonna go into the tech and why I feel it's such a bullish project. Um, the former CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt, is an advisor, um, which, which brings a higher perspective to this project. Uh, this is a terrific brand, but many lost interest during the last bull run. It's going to be interesting to see how many form, former community Members will end up regrouping during this cycle and how much hype from the early days can be recaptured. It was a bullish project a long time ago. It did really great and then it had a mass d dump and now it's kind of coming back up. Um, the marketing, Chainlink has great marketing behind it. They don't do a ton of advertising, but they have a lot of solid partnerships. So they have um, gained a lot of respect and kudos in this space um, during the last few years. Sergey has been getting involved in the marketing as well. Um, they're always doing tweets and things like that. Uh, performance, uh, Chainlink did really well for the people that bought in early, but many were disappointed with how it did in the last two years. It seemed to be weak during the most parabolic moments of the last bull run, so other assets outperformed Chainlink. Um, it's not because of the project behind it. I'm gonna get into that and you're gonna, I think you're gonna be convinced that it's a really good, uh, crypto to look at. Um, Sergey Navarov and CEO of Chainlink was at the CBOS conference. The point of discussion was that all the capital markets are going to eventually need uh, the, the connectivity and interoperability layer. Um, Chain, that's what Chainlink's famous for. I'm going to get to that soon. Uh, Chainlink has this with their CCIP, which stands for Cross Chain Interoperability Protocol, CCIP. Uh, this is what they're famous for. And he was also quoted saying that every bank will still have its own chain and stablecoin. Um, so Chainlink is basically poised to melt faces in this bull run uh, because of this narrative. Okay, so what is CCIP? It's Once again, it, it's the biggest, fastest, it's the biggest factor that will uh, make Chainlink uh, massively successful. This allows things like value, and messages to seamlessly be transacted throughout different blockchains. Um, from pr this, this is what what they can do. Basically, the, you can they can transfer data from private to private, private to public, public to private, private to public. All no matter what chain they're on, they can transfer data from one chain to another, and that's what this technology allows them to do. And this is what's going to make them so big. Um, there are other people. There are other competitors, but they're not anywhere near. The level of chain link as far as being able to do this the right way the way it's supposed to be done um, and, and because they started the tech long before all the other companies so they're a leader in the sense that they have more time on, on them and and they can um, make things happen like a lot of other companies can't that are in the same space um, so not only have they figured this out but it's being used right now you can have seamless communication between protocols in totally different chains for example an nft on ethereum in a different um, protocol on ZK Zinc um, and have seamless communication between these two protocols. So you, so you can go from different platforms, like for example, you know, Ethereum, Solana, stuff like that. Um, it allows those kind of connections. 
of finance, you know, company or people that will benefit from these services are financial services, DeFi, gaming, NFT collectibles, climate markets, enterprise can all be solved with Chainlink. So it, it, no matter, I mean, you, you, I just mentioned many, many multi, multi-billion dollar markets and Chainlink can help with all these. Um, security, none of these Oracle exploits, AKA hacks involve Chainlink. All these other chains going down and bridges getting uh, exploited in Chainlink is providing uh, onboarding and security solutions. So, so um, if, if, if you're JP Morgan, BlackRock, Amex, Visa, MasterCard, of course you're going to, to use Chainlink. All these companies can use Chainlink to further their cause. Um, they have no real competition, which makes Link such a valuable asset. Chainlink's uh, CEO, Sergey Navarov said, um, only Chainlink CCIP achieves the full five levels of cross-chain security and decentralization that financial institutions are likely to need for safety uh, managing uh, quadrillions, which is thousands of trillions in assets flow and bringing global markets on chain. So the combined markets that I mentioned earlier don't do trillions of dollars a year, they do quadrillion dollars a year. One of them is a company called Swift um, and, and they do, they process three to five trillion in transactions a day. And Chainlink did a test on this, a successful test with this company already. They haven't used them yet, but they've, they've done successful tests with them. So that's the first step between actually adopting it. So if they, if Swift adopts it and some of these, some of this other stuff happens later, I mean, the, the market cap of um, Chainlink could literally be in the trillions. So, and that's, that's what, you know, this coin bets on basically. Um, I just mentioned they have a partnership with Swift and they do three to five trillion dollars a day in their network and this will make them, this would make a chain link the Google of crypto basically, if they, if, if they can secure some of these partnerships. Um, chain link is built in such a way, so I, I kind of consider it like right under Ethereum, you know. Uh, I can, Ethereum's a little bit better of a coin because it's been around a little longer and it's got a lot of tech behind it also, but Chainlink is right up there with it. If they can capture some of these markets, they could be right up there with Ethereum. They could, they could possibly even flip Ethereum. Um, it's built in a way where it can integrate with the infrastructure of banks and financial institutions without them having to make ma major modifications. So this isn't a, a, a coin that caters to the small guy. It, it caters to these large financial giants. Um, they were they were they are positioned to have a large percentage of market share, if not a complete monopoly, because they built their platform years ago thinking about what will be needed for, for mass institutional adoption. So when they built their original chain years ago, the so, solid infrastructure behind the coin, they built it with this in mind that thinking, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, it's gonna flow into the major player in the space, and, and that's what they've been able to accomplish. Um, although it hasn't all happened yet, they're in the right position to secure these relationships. Um, RNA, uh, real world assets is tokenization. You've probably heard how big of a, uh, the, it's like, a, I, I think it's like going to be like a $50 trillion uh, industry because it concludes real estate, um, stocks, bonds, anything you could think of. It's called real world asset tokenization will grow fun the financial sector exponentially. And that's what uh, Chainlink supports, the real world asset tokenization. Um, I'm gonna say here, trillions is the floor, not the ceiling. In other words, it, 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 it could be multi, multi-trillion dollar um, market cap for this coin, what, you know, in five to 10 years. It is a, I would say it's a long-term play because it's not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna buy Chainlink and look at it two days later and it's gonna double. It's not that type of a coin. It's a kind of a coin where you kind of, you know, buy it, lay, chill out for a few years and see where it's at. Okay, banks are competitive and they don't want to use their own blockchains. Um, they, they want unbiased third-party uh, decentralized cryptography uh, to secure, secure protocol to facilitate trustless communication between these two entities. In other words, Chainlink would act as an unbiased communicator between, for example, um, Chase Bank and Bank of America you know, or, you know, or any two, they would act trustless when, when if the banks have their own blockchains, there's some bias there. So if you use Chainlink, it complete, it keeps everything completely unbiased. And these banks are very competitive. So they want, they're going to want that. Um, tokenomics. Okay. The tokenomics, 
the co tokenomics are average. They're not the best tokenomics, but they're not the worst. Um, it's still enough for you to make a lot of profit from. The, f the fact that 30% was distributed to the team has always been one of the main points of controversy for Chainlink. The inflation rate ranges from 7 to 9% on average. This is one of the weakest um, categories that they have going for them. So I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that Chainlink's 100% perfect because it's not. Every coin has a flaw, though. Um, if When I go into other coins, I'll point out the flaws as well. And they're just something to be aware of. Um, if a coin's this bullish and it, and it can go up this much, the tokenomics will cut into your profit some, but it's not going to kill your profit. Um, you're still going to make a lot of money. So the utility, Chainlink ranks at the top of the charts on utility. Um, I pretty much mentioned the basics of that already, but um, and this is why I, I own a decent bag. Right now, I own, I think it's about 89 chain link. It's about $2,200 right now. And my plan is to um, DCA dollar cost average until I own about 3,000 because I don't do that with most coins, but this coin I'm gonna go a little higher on. Most of my other altcoins I'm in for about 1,700. It's pretty much even down the road at 1,700. And well, some of them are higher, but they 1,700 is the low end of what I own. And the high end is like 3,500. Or no, actually it's uh, 5,400 for, quant and i'll get into that coin at another time but yeah so so i'm gonna at least own three grand of solana before the major bull starts but it doesn't even have to be that quick because it's going to take some time for these banks to come on board so you can just if you you should be okay if you can get in by the end of the year as far as you know not getting in too late so you have time um this is the strongest area for them um as far as their utility goes uh, oracles were one the most important um, cases for crypto and Chainlink was the first project uh, to push this concept of an oracle. Um, for those that don't know, blockchain oracles are, are entities that connect blockchains to external systems, thereby enabling smart contracts to execute based on inputs and outputs from the real world. Um, some of the most influential institutions in the world are already um, adopting Chainlink, like like Citibank, CoinGecko, AccuWeather. You've heard of the AccuWeather weather app, um, Google Cloud, NFT Bank, and many others. It's on its way to becoming part of the world for traditional finance as well. Um, so, like I said, we're so early on in crypto, people don't realize that. Everybody thinks, oh, I missed the boat. Bitcoin is, you know, 67 grand right now or whatever. We are so early. I mean... If you have a good attitude and you have a job or something, you can contribute 500 a month to some coin like Chainlink or something in six months, you're going to, you're going to be borderline rich. I mean, you're going to be borderline rich. You're going to make a few hundred grand, 400 grand. I mean, I mean, just keep a good attitude, keep DCAing and, and get involved in projects like these and you're going to be fine. Um, right now there's $267 trillion of assets um, to move on chain right now. And, and these are RWA assets, real world assets. Tokenization is a multi uh, hundred trillion dollar opportunity for early adopters. Right now, Chainlink, I, I don't even think it's a trillion dollars yet. Or, no, it's not even close. It's only like a hundred and something billion. 97% um, of institutional investors agree that tokenization of real world assets will revolutionize asset management. So we're on our way. Um, Anything that can be tokenized should and will be tokenized. So over time, everything's going to be tokenized because you can keep 100% accurate accountability and nothing will get lost. It's not like a piece of paperwork where some secretary forgot to file it, you know. So, so that's what we're looking for here. Um, assets like equities, bonds, treasuries, real estate, precious metals all count as real world assets. So, so, so Chainlink could be the giant of all this. They're positioned to be that. Um, and, and all this can be put on chain, chain. Without CCIP, this all becomes fragmented. In other words, if you have all these banks, for example, using all their their own blockchains and one blockchain connects to each other, it's not gonna be a seamless integration. Um, there's gonna be a lot of, of problems with, with, with one blockchain communicating with the other if it's not done right. There could be errors. Um, so this will drive efficiency in the capital markets, smarter or shortened value chains, and improving chat and access to investors. Now, 
people are starting to get excited about Chainlink again, including myself. Um, now let's go over the tech. Okay, they almost have a perfect score on tech because they are a game changing developer that holds DeFi together. Um, DeFi is, is just another massive opportunity out there. Um, their, their tech team put together one of the most uh, technological advances in our entire industry. The Oracle space is moving fast and there's a possibility for Chainlink to stagnate if they don't keep up with the innovations being made by competitors like the Pith Network or Teller or, or TRB. Well, we know that, I mean, but they're already way ahead of them. And I don't see any signs of Sergey Navarov. If, if he's like a trusted source in the industry. He's like the man, you know? He's not gonna let that happen. He's, he's on top of his game and he knows what's going on. And they're not gonna slow down. Um, if he did, then they eventually they could pass him up, sure but I don't think he's gonna slow down. So decentralization, let's talk a little bit about that. Their protocol is truly decentralized, but the supply of link tokens is very centralized. Um, over 28% of all tokens are held in the top 10 wallets, um, which some of them I'm sure are developers or people on the team, the top people management on the team, and 42% uh, are held in the top 100 wallets. Uh, this shows a massive level of centralization as far as the coin distribution is concerned. There's also a possibility that um, people have multiple wallets, which would make, make the supply even more centralized. Price prediction. This prediction is based on a circulating supply of uh, uh, 691 million link is out there right now. And um, right now the current price is $18.29 per link token, which is the price I got before I made this video. Um, with a current market cap of $10.7 billion uh, USD. Now, do you see the potential here? If this just reaches one trillion, then this, um, if my math's correct, let me see, you got a you got hundred and a thousand, yeah, that's a hundred X. If one gets to a trillion, just, over, just under a hundred X, like 98 X or something like that. I mean, if it gets to five trillion, which it could easily do in like 10 years, it's a long-term hold, but I mean, wouldn't you want to shove a few grand in there and just let it grow? I mean, just, you know, a few grand that you wouldn't miss, hopefully. Um, so my personal valuation, okay. I feel Chainlink could realistically reach $450 with a market cap of uh, 300 billion. This is my conservative analysis. Um, Chainlink uh, is going to bring real-world assets on chain, which is why I feel it will easily 25x over the next cycle from its current price. Because not everybody will adopt uh, Chainlink within the next four years, but maybe a few of these places will. That's why I say it's a very long-term project. It's something like, think about your kid's college fund. Stick a few grand in there if he's like, you know, eight years old or something. In 12 years, you know, you got his college money and a lot more. Um, currently, I own... I apologize, I thought I owned 89 link, but I, I forgot I made another purchase and I own 116 link tokens. So it, but but I, like I said before, I plan on DCAing $53 a day because that's my, what I can budget right now um, until things explode. Then I can just start moving around assets. But right now I plan on DCAing about $53 a day and purchase more along with other top tokens I own until the value is at least $1,700 at a minimum per token, but Chainlink's already over that, but I'm going a little higher in Chainlink. I want to go to about 3,000 because I believe in the project so much. Um, keep in mind this valuation is on the conservative side, like I just mentioned. Um, Chainlink is here to stay, and that's something I highly believe for many reasons I've just discovered. They also have valuable partnerships, which puts them far ahead of their competition. Think of SWIFT, the banks, etc. like I mentioned before. Another something I want to talk to uh, talk about also is another top influencer in this space. He just recently um, sold almost all his Ethereum, which is going to be another extremely bullish coin I'm going to talk about um, for Chainlink. And he bought one million dollars of Chainlink. I mean, he wants to get paid. Um, he's already a multimillionaire in crypto. I don't question him. Um, I think it. I don't think anything's gonna happen to Chainlink, but you know, um, it's a big bet, but if it works out for him, he's probably gonna be worth nine figures. 
Um, and that's cool if he wants to do that. I don't have that much, you know. I only have what I can invest it right now because I'm not a millionaire yet at $53 a day. So we'll see what happens. But but um, the fact that he did that put me really bullish on Chainlink too because it, it kind of reminded me, yes, this is a rock solid project or he wouldn't have done that in the first place. Um, so he he's been in the space for 12 years so he he really knows crypto i mean he i I've, I've watched some of his stuff he's he's really good um and he he says within the next five to six years the price for link will reach a thousand dollars with a total market cap of one trillion and, th and that's what i'm saying right now you know it, it could easily 100x in the next eight to 12 years um so it, it's a good long-term investment you i mean anytime i find something like that i'm gonna I'll, I'll DCA and, and, and put three grand into it because I mean that's going to be part of that's how you become a millionaire in crypto you find the best projects and you put like this and you put a few grand in and just let it sit I say a few grand because most people can't afford that you know your average working stiff can only DCA sometimes 300 a month into something um, or you know some can can do like you know some can do a thousand two thousand a month I mean just your average person working construction could probably do two thousand a month so, so you know, it, it's it, the opportunity is there for us. You want to take advantage of it. Um, it yeah. So uh, he actually sold a lot of Ethereum and Bitcoin to, to take that position in Chainlink. Um, so he's not just someone that's saying, "Oh, Chainlink's going to be the best." I mean, he's he put his money where his mouth is, and that told that that said a lot to me. That told me I probably should get some too. You know, even though I can't get anywhere near a million, I can't even get ten thousand. But who cares? I mean, just get three thousand, and if it hundred X's, that's three hundred grand. Um, so, uh, please let me know what you think of the link token um, and its prospects for this bull cycle. I'd like to hear it in your comments. If you, if you would make a comment, that'd be great. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell. So you'll get automated alerts on all my future videos. Um, I'll be doing one video for each 2024 uh, bull cycle uh, pick that I personally own. And right now my, my, my allocations start on the low end at about 1700 and they go up to about 5400 depending on the coin. And I'll, I'll be talking about all those that I own. I'm very transparent. I don't really care what people think about. They tell me, oh, don't tell them how much you have. You can get hacked, all that. My security is so tight. You, someone could spend the rest of their life trying to get my account and they couldn't do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what I'm doing because I really wanna help people that I can get to the next level that are willing to actually listen and, and implement some of this stuff. Um, so, okay, yeah, this is the first crypto I've done anything on and um, I'm gonna do it on every coin that I own, every stock that I bought. I just bought another stock and I put 2,300 into that. Um, and, and um, I'm going to go over that stock eventually, but every play I'm in, I'm going to eventually let you guys know about and how I'm doing it. And I'm, I'm not just shilling coins. I'm not just finding some random coin and doing a YouTube video so I can get hits, you know. That's not what I'm about. I don't, I mean, I'd, I'd like to become a YouTube influencer someday, but if I don't, that's okay. I, that's cool. I, I, don't, I don't care. My main concern is to help who I can in this process. That's where my motivation is. Um, but last thing I want to say is after subscribing um this isn't financial or legal advice you got to make your own financial decisions we all do we're all responsible for that so if you put in three grand and for some crazy reason the you know the ceo ends up doing something bad or something i don't see it happening he's been around since the toshi area and this guy's like rock solid but if something does happen um you know we're all responsible for our financial decisions including myself so once again, this isn't legal or accounting advice. And uh, that's about all I have to say for this video. This pretty much wraps it up. Um, I'd love to discuss this token with you in the comments if you have something to say. So have an incredible day and I'll be in touch with my next video, hopefully within a couple days. All right, thank you very much. Take care, bye-bye.